clear out so I can pick up those supplies at lunch. Oh, you don't have to do that. We'll survive. Honestly, I don't mind. It was my stuff up. Are you paranoid about running out? A blessing in disguise. It was dead handy yesterday when the car broke down. Where should I put this? Anywhere out of Reuben's sight. He's not happy you talked one of his patients out of a vaccination. No, he didn't seem that thrilled. And neither am I. You do realise by doing that you cost us money. The patient couldn't afford it. Well, regardless, it's not your place to question a doctor's recommendation. Reuben's patient, Reuben's call. Just chalk this one up to experience. I really, really want this job, Sarah. Maybe I'm trying a bit too hard. Just keep it simple and get the work done. That's all Reuben and I expect at this stage. Got it. Um, you can put that at the back if you like. Hey, eh? The box. Right. Uh, momentary lapse of sanity. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? I probably just need something to eat. Get the blood sugar back up. You make sure you do that. Thanks again, Sarah. I'll sharpen up. Promise. Dr. Burrows been yet? No, not yet. He thought they could get a transplant team together by this afternoon. Hunter had a word with you, did he? He helped me get there by myself. I'm so glad he did. I should have listened to you the first time. You knew Ben, you knew what you were talking about. I, I was being selfish. You were trying to do what's best for your brother. Your best for my brother. Which is why me and Emily are gonna need some help with the funeral. Your family too, now. Thank you, Anita. When's Wendy there? I'm hungry. Uh, should be any minute now. How's the daddy to be? <laughs> He's good, thanks. My son has <laughs> hidden talents. Oh, I've got to find somewhere to kill time in Samoa. But who's the huffer, huh? The what? With a petrol sniffer. This was out the back with some rank can of petrol. Oh, yay, lunchtime. I got held up at the suppliers. Whose is this, and why is it stinking up our offices? I had to make room in the car for these. Next time, just order them when I ask you to. Remove the flammable substances now, please. Right. Sorry, again. Sorry, I hope you didn't want to finish that yourself. Not Ruben's favourite person, is she? No, not by a long shot. <sighs> OK, thank you for giving it a shot. Ursula's contract is a work of art. There's no way we can stop that show back to air. Guess I'll wear the fallout then. So, damage control. Anything you need me to do or say, I'll do it or say it. Not what I was expecting. I finally put things in perspective. Well, lucky for you, so have I. What's this? You're going to the Solomon Islands. Red Cross are heading over for a medical aid program next week. One of their surgeons is too sick to fly. You just want me out of the country when the proverbial hits the fan over this documentary. I can handle any curveballs. Well, I run away. It'll look bad. You'll be helping a developing nation in its time of need. How could that possibly look bad? Oh, you're good. Have you seen Wendy? What the hell? Oh my God, sorry. I just closed my eyes for a second. Just get back on the desk, please. That woman is a liability. I'm sure she's got a really good excuse. That's all she's ever got, excuses. What excuse makes it fine to sleep on the job? Well, she's really trying to hard. To drive me mad, I know. Be fair. I am. If it's not her broken down car, it's her kids. If it's not her kids, it's her box of junk. Now I see what's going on. What? Solvent abuse. That's why she's been reeking of petrol. That's ridiculous. She's constantly tired. She's not with it half the time. She brings a can of petrol to work. And what solvent addict would be stupid enough to do that? Wendy, clearly. I want her gone. Okay.
bro. We'll make sure you get the send off you deserve. Me and Yvonne. I feel so lucky to have met you, Ben. So lucky that we could spend the time that we did together. My handsome, kind, gentle man. Wherever you're going to now, drive safe. You've put too much work into that Mustang to mess it up now. Farewell, my love. <laughs>